Mojo Vision's our contact lenses are very cool, but many questions remain. The well-funded startup is working with the FDA to approve the product for medical use. Companies keep trying to make glass holes happen. Understandably, after the smartphone and the wrist, the face is the next local battlefield for computational space, if decades of science fiction movies have taught us anything. But we've seen the Google Glass, the Snapchat spectacles, the magic leap, the whatever the thing that Samsung just semi-announced was. Contact lenses have been mentioned in that same conversation for some time, as well, but technical limitations have placed the bar much higher than a heads-up display standard pair of spectacles. California-based Mojo Vision has been working on the breakthrough for a number of years now, and has a lofty sum to show for it, with $108 million in funding, including a $58 million Series B closed back in March. The technology is compelling, certainly. I met with the team in a hotel suite at CES last week and got a walkthrough of some of the things they've been working on. While executives say they've been dogfooding the technology for some time now, the demos were still pretty far removed from an eventual in augmented reality contact lens. Rather, two separate demos essentially involved holding a lens or device close to my eye in order to get a feel for what an eventual product would look like. The reason was twofold. First, most of the work is still being done off device at the moment, while Mojo works to perfect a system that can exist within the confines of a contact while only needing to be charged once in a 25 hour cycle. Second, the issue of trying on a pair of contacts during a brief CES meeting. I will say that I was impressed by the heads up display capabilities. In the most basic demo, monochrome text resembling a digital clock is overlaid on images. Here, miles per hour are shown over videos of people running. The illusion has some depth to it, with the numbers appearing as though they're a foot or so out. In another demo, I donned an HTC Vive. Here I'm shown live video of the room around me, XR, if you will, with notifications. The system tracks eye movements, so you can focus on a tab to expand it for more information. It's a far more graphical interface than the other example, with full calendars, weather forecasts and the like. You can easily envision how the addition of a broader color palette could give rise to some fairly complex R imagery. Mojo is using CES to announce its intentions to start life as a medical device. In fact, the FDA awarded the startup a breakthrough device designation, meaning the technology will get special review priority from the government body. That's coupled with a partnership with Bay Area-based Vista Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. That UG for more on this story. Visit the news article link.